Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for Vespers. According to the tradition of the Anglican Breviary, in accordance with the use of the Book of Common Prayer, which is a very Anglican way of saying it. Tonight I uh, pray, and along with all of our parishioners that uh, join us tonight, with all of you uh, for your safety and well being. We pray for healing and ask for healing for those who have been infected by the coronavirus the safety of our children, our elderly, those with compromised immune systems. We also lift up and thank God for the many blessings that he gives us in our lives, for our families, our friends, and all those joys that we are enabled to recognize through the lens of faith and the joy of Christ. Also tonight, as we prepare during this Advent season for the birth and second coming of Christ. Let us open our hearts more and more that we may be receptive to the good news of the gospel and be vehicles of spreading that good news and sharing that good news through our actions and our words and in our ministry with those around us. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are all they that fear the Lord. Psalm 128. Blessed are all they that fear the Lord and walk in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labors of thine hands. O well is thee, and happy shalt thou be. Thy, well, thy, thy wife shall be as the fruitful vine upon the walls of thine house. Thy children, like the olive branches, round about thy table. Lo, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord from out of Zion shall, be, shall so bless thee, that thou shalt see Jerusalem in prosperity all thy life long. Yea, that thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace upon Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Blessed are all they that fear the Lord. Let them be confounded, as many as have evil will at Zion. Psalm 129. Many a time have they fought against me from my youth up. May Israel now say, Yea, many a time have they vexed me from my youth up, but they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed upon my back, and made long furrows. But the righteous Lord hath whom the snares of the ungodly in pieces. Let them be confounded and turned back, as many as have evil will at Zion. Let them be even as the grass growing upon the housetops, which withered afore it be plucked up, whereof the mower filleth not his hand, neither he that bindeth up the sheaves his bosom. So that they who go by say, not so much as the Lord prosper you. We wish you good luck in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Let them be confounded as many as have evil will at Zion. Out of the deep have I called unto thee, O Lord. Psalm 130. Out of the deep have I called unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let thine ears consider well 
the voice of my complaint. If thou, Lord, wilt be extreme to mark what is done amiss, O Lord, who may abide it? For there is mercy with thee, therefore shalt thou be feared. I look for the Lord, my soul doth wait for him, and his word is my trust. My soul fleeth unto the Lord before the morning watch. I say before the morning watch, O Israel, trust in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his sins. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Out of the deep have I called unto thee, O Lord. O Lord, I am not high-minded. Psalm 131. Lord, I am not high-minded. I have no proud looks. I do not exercise myself in great matters, which are too high for me. But I refrain my soul and keep it low, like a child that is weaned from his mother. Yea, my soul is even as a weaned child. O Israel, trust in the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, I am not high-minded. The Lord hath chosen Zion to be a habitation for himself. Psalm 132. Lord, remember David and all his trouble, how he swore unto the Lord, and vowed the vow unto the Almighty God of Jacob. I will not come within the tabernacle of mine house, nor climb up into my bed. I will not suffer mine eyes to sleep, nor my eyelids to slumber, neither the temples of my head to take any rest, until I find out a place for the temple of the Lord, a habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Lo, we heard of the same at Ephraim, and found it in the wood. We will go into his tavern, and fall low on our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into thy resting place, thou in the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints sing with joyfulness. For thy servant David sing. Turn not away the presence of thine anointed. The Lord hath made faithful oath, has made a faithful oath unto David, and he shall not shrink from it. Of the fruit of thy body shall I set upon thy seed. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimonies, that I shall learn them, their children also shall sit upon thy seat forevermore. For the Lord hath chosen Zion to be a habitation for himself. He hath longed for her. This shall be my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have a delight therein. I will bless her victuals with increase, and will satisfy her poor with bread. I will deck her priests with health, and her saints shall rejoice and sing. There shall I make the horn of David to flourish, I have ordained a lantern for mine anointed. As for his enemies, I shall clothe them with shame, but upon himself shall his crown flourish. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord hath chosen Zion to be a habitation for himself. The reading is taken from the prayer book office. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 20, beginning at the 19th verse. When the scribes and the chief priests realized that Jesus had told this parable against them, they wanted to lay hands on him at that very hour, but they feared the people. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be honest 
in order to trap him by what he said, so as to hand him over to the jurisdiction and authority of the governor. So they asked him, Teacher, we know that you are right in what you say and teach, and you show deference to no one, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But he perceived that their craftiness, he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Show me a denarius. Whose head and whose title does it bear? They said, The emperor's. He said to them, Then give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were not able to and they were not able in the presence of the people to trap him by what he said. And being amazed by his answer, they became silent. Here endeth the reading. I will recite the words for the traditional hymn appointed for today. O God, whose hand hath spread the sky and all its shining hosts on high, and painting it with fiery light, made it so beautiful and so bright. Thou, when the fourth day was begun, didst frame the circle of the sun, and set the moon in order change, and planets for their wider range. To night and day, by certain line, their varying bounds did assign, and gave us a signal known and meet for months begun and months complete. Enlighten thou the hearts of men, polluted souls make pure again. Unloose the bands of guilt within, remove the burden of our sin. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, thy only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee shall live and reign eternally. Amen. And now, for the Magnificat, the Song of Our Lady, accompanied by the Antiphon. But before that, I will repeat the versicle. The Lord loved him and adorned him, Alleluia. He clothed him with a robe of glory, Alleluia. O holy priest and bishop, thou worker of so many mighty works, and good shepherd of Christ's flock, pray for us unto the Lord our God, Alleluia. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified him, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O holy priest and bishop, thou worker of so many great works, and good shepherd to Christ's flock, pray for us unto the Lord our God. Alleluia. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Turn thee again, O Lord, at the last, and be gracious unto thy servants. Let thy merciful kindness, O Lord, be upon us, like as we do, our tr as we do put our trust in thee. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints sing with joyfulness. Let us pray for Michael, our presiding bishop. <clears throat> the Lord preserve him and keep him alive, that he may be blessed upon earth, and deliver not thou him into the will of his enemies. Let us pray for William, our own bishop. May he stand firm and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord and in the majesty of the name of his God. O Lord, save the state, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. O think upon thy congregation, whom thou hast purchased and redeemed of old. Peace be within thy walls, and plenteousness within thy palaces. Let us pray for our benefactors. Vatshef, O Lord, for thy name's sake, to reward with eternal life all them that do us good. Amen. Let us pray for the faithful departed. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray for our absent brother. Save thy servants, O Lord, my God, that put their trust in thee. Let us pray for the afflicted and captives. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Send them help, O Lord, from thy sanctuary, and strengthen them out of Zion. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of thy countenance, and we shall be whole. O Christ, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. Let us pray. O God, who in thy providence didst call Channing Moore Williams to the ministry of this church and gave him the gifts and the perseverance to preach the gospel in new lands, inspire us by his example and prayers to commit our talents to thy service, confident that thou dost uphold those whom thou dost call. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God forever and ever. Amen. He that cometh after me is mightier than I, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to uncloose. Drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and bring forth a Savior. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armor of light, now in the time of this mortal life in which thy Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.
The general thanksgiving can be found on page 71 in the prayer book. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord, to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. May you all have a blessed and peaceful evening. And for the Advent blessing. May the sun of righteousness shine upon you and scatter the darkness from before your path. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be with you and remain with you always. Amen.